So now we are going to machine the piston. So here is the, one of the pistons to complete the course for the piston. The requirements are that uh, it fits nice and snugly on the piston shaft. Like so, and of course, is a snug fit for the cylinder that we've just previously made. So tolerancing is very important for this particular component. So what we need is uh, the manual and a drawing of the component. Also, we need the toolbox that goes along with the piston itself. So I have that to hand. We're going to use this uh, engine lathe here. Uh, I know we've been, you've been asked to calculate the RPM and feed rate, uh, which is part of the homework. But actually, for this machine, we've set the RPM for you. What I'd like you to do, though, before we operate the machine, is just check that uh, the feed rate is correct. We're looking at roughly six thousandths of an inch per revolution, 0.006 IPR. So looking at this uh, table right here, I want you to make sure that we're set to approximately 6,000. We need to do that, come down, and we're going to select actually 0.0057 as the closest to 6,000. We're looking at that block right there, which is a BE7. BE7. So we come down here to the controls, and we have B, E, and 7. In addition, when operating the lathe, I we want you to use just the slow button to activate the B. Not the fast, just the slow. Making everything then will be set up in terms of RPM. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, what I need is a steel rule. I have my stock already inserted into the collet. Uh, I'm looking at the uh, manual and it's uh, asking me to extend the material at approximately one inch. So there I go, I'm using steel rule and uh, that looks good right there. I tighten up. Nice and tight. Good. Okay. Now, that's that. Let's just check that the feed rate looks good. So again, to operate this machine, here is the lever that we'd like to use the, to activate the collet. Toolbox that's uh, select the first cutting tool. What we're going to do first is face off the workpiece. So again, inserting the tool into the tool post, locking down nice and tight, coming over, and around a quarter of an inch, an eighth of an inch from the workpiece, pulling up on the lever. So what I'm going to do is just take off another 10 to 15 feet. Back 
head, stop the machine, use the brake, look at the face, that's nice and clean, great. Now we're ready to perform our turning operation.